Hello and welcome to Bodget with Brian. And today I'm very keen to show you these. They're called box beads and they're made by a company called McCoy's. Uh, I'll link to where you can get these uh, below. Uh, but what they are is uh, if you're putting up some plasterboard and you want a really neat job, what you want to do is put a bead around it. So I've already fitted one of these here already. Uh, and this is what it looks like before you plaster. Now they're super quick and easy to fit and inexpensive for what they are. And uh, they come in packs of 10. Uh, and they come with these, they come with this very neat packaging. Uh, I don't know, what would you do with these uh, elastic bands after you've used them? Uh, I'd be interested to know what you would use them for. So they're a piece of cake to fit. What I've done here is I've put up a, a, a laser line here uh, with the uh, Zoc one. Um, if, uh, if you haven't seen the review for this, you'll find it in this top corner here-ish. Um, and uh, it works really well. It's a 360 degree laser line and I'm not quite sure whether you can see it, but look how precision I've got all the top of those boxes. I did sort of spend a little bit too much time on those, I think, really. But, back to the box speed. So, uh, I've got another one to fit. I've, I've only done one at the minute, uh, and I've got another 50 to go. But, uh, they're supposed to be a, a relatively loose fit, so you can true them up and get them sort of nice and straight. But what uh, you can see what, what the result will be, I will get that up on that laser line and... Uh, then we'll use stapler. I'm going to use this electric one. Um, there's actually a better value uh, uh, stapler uh, made by a company called Van Halsen. Uh, and I'll put a link to where you can get those uh, as well. So as I said, I've only done one at the minute. Um, what I... Obviously, when you're sort of fitting things up, you sort of need to go through this sort of process of learning of how to do it, to be able to do it accurately and at pace, etc. Um, and one of the, the, the things that I've sort of found sort of fairly uh, sort of instantly is the tackers um, have cut me a fairly generous sort of uh, hole there, um, but it needs to be straightened up a bit. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use a multi-tool with uh, a sort of a fairly um, reasonable cutting tip there. Uh, and that will just be able to cut me a very straight line and we'll get that nice and true. But um, what would be sort of quite useful is to have a template... Um, Maybe if you had one every, you know, if you bought 100, maybe you get the template free or something like that. Um, or it's just, a, you know, another one-off cost. As I say, these are fairly inexpensive. Um, so that you can mark out where you want that to go. So maybe it has a sort of a generous shelf uh, for you to put your level on so you can get it level. And then you can just run around with your pencil where that needs to actually be. So that then I can cut with the, the multi-tool. And then I was thinking, well, hang on a minute. What about one of those multi-tool box cutting tools? Now, I've not had one of those yet, but that would seem to be a really interesting idea. Say you're buying a pack of 100, maybe it includes that tool as well, and the template. Got yourself a neat little kit. But anyway, that's me having ideas. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll cut that out, and then I'll show you me just stapling it on, and then moving on to the next one. So there we go, uh, I've cut it to size now and um, what I'm going to do is offer it up just uh, initially and there we go, you can see, oops. You can see uh, that we've achieved that top line quite nicely, um, that's uh, set, sat on there quite nicely um, and uh, the sides have fitted in well and yeah that's looking good. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy this up uh, by just chamfering the edge with a, with a Stanley um, and maybe a little bit of sandpaper. Make sure you get the, uh, the name 
right way up because that's nice. There we go, on the laser line, nice and level. And uh, now it's just a simple case of uh, stapling it on. Yeah. Oops. Now you can use an adhesive to uh, stick those back on if you want, so says the instructions, um, but uh, uh, the way that the rest of the plasters are putting the beading up, um, the, the metal beading on the corners, they're just, use it, they're just tacking it with, uh, uh, with, you know, staple gun. So the great thing about this laser level, uh, that it is, you know, 360 degrees, which my other one didn't do. Um, again, there are links below to where you can get these. Um, you can see that it's really just picking up the top of, of all of those boxes around the room, uh, every single one of them. Uh, this one needs to be uh, uh, just filled in just a little bit, that's still going off. But check this out, it's, uh, it's even managed to, you know, wherever you've got a line of sight, it's managed to get it all the way out here. I've been quite lucky with this one, uh, this actually is bang on and all I've had to do is just run around the edge with a bit of sandpaper. There we go, it's nice and flush against the wall. And then all I need to do, again, sorry for the wobbly camera. And then all I need to do is just staple it on and we're done. So for a two second job like this, well worth the effort for the finish. So something that I think is probably important to talk about is the material that these are made out of. They are very, very durable. So, um, you know, there's no going to, uh, you know, cracking, snapping, breaking, stressing. Uh, and indeed, I understand that they are, uh, I'm not really sure that the right term is fire resistant, but um, the way that these perform around uh, higher temperatures, uh, this particular plastic, uh, means that they don't smoke um, or uh, melt in an unusual way that might uh, help fire move along. So, um, yeah, a very durable and, you know, quality feel to this type of uh, plastic beading. And it's that, it's that tough edge that you're most is interested in because it's this that's going to stop you know, uh, any kind of breakout around, you know, that plaster, finished plaster surface that once you're done, um, you know, you'll get a lifetime's worth of uh, support when you sort of change out those face plates and those accessories for something different. It's this that's going to save the day and mean that you won't have to constantly keep repairing, repairing, repairing. And indeed, you know, if you're a professional plasterer and so on, you know, putting a, a product like this in place will mean that, you know, you don't have to go back and remake your work, you know, because those edges have uh, cracked when the electricians come along, because ultimately it's, you know, it's you guys that need to come back and make good, you know, after all of that snagging's taken place. So, you know, you could have easily have had an electrician come in and generate more work for you not having a dig at electricians. Could have been the painter. The other great thing to note is made in the UK. Um, and uh, that's, you know, a nice thing to know. So this wouldn't be that interesting a video if I didn't then show you what it looks like after it's plastered. So here we go. So end of the first day, and this is what they look like finished. Um, I think you agree this is a you know a, a real life example. We haven't overly cleaned this up. This is uh, obviously you know just a little bit of plaster that's spilled over. But um, 
I'm extremely impressed with the, the finish of that. And of course, what this is going to do is give you a really tough edge that uh, should really support. Now, something I might do going around afterwards is, is just to um, put some uh, finishing plaster in here or to seal these gaps up um, just so that they're nice and flush. Because if we're making a bit of an effort um, to get these looking nice, let's, uh, let's finish them off nice. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's what it looks like at the end of a first day's bit of plastering. Thanks again for watching Bodget with Brian. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget, subscribe!